Oh, Professor. I am the one who called you from the Oslo Weekly News. My name is Nolan Campbell. And this is Tim, my cameraman. It's a pleasure. I'm a bit busy right now. I pl I'm a bit busy. Please keep it brief. Then I'll get right to the point. Have you been able to figure out who the murderer is? <coughs> I can't say anything for sure yet because victims the, the victim's testimony lacks credibility. Oh, do you mean the victim that's testifying? That'd be Jennifer Simpson, wouldn't it? Yes, but what about her? Oh, uh, nothing really. It's just that we saw her leaving a few minutes ago. And since we'd run into her, we asked her for an interview, but she refused. <coughs> you just said her testimony lacked credi credibility. I know what you're going to say. That monster she was talking about, the scissor man, and whether he really exists or not. That's it. That's right. <coughs> that is what our readers want to know. Because the existence of this of this scissor man has become a symbol of terror among youngsters. Yes, and that's because trashy gossip magazines like yours have sensationalized the whole thing. Ouch, that hurts. Not much I can say to that, is there? Well, let's start from the conclusion. <coughs> it's it's fact that there was a murderer who used a giant pair of scissors as his murder weapon. But that doesn't make him make it him into an immortal. We're just dealing with some odd screwball. But what about what she said? She was scared. She thought she saw something. Oh, I see, but... Okay, that's it. Interview's over. Is that a, you took enough pictures of me. Come on, stop. There is something I... Okay. Ah, well, okay, I understand. Thank you very much. Sorry, I couldn't be as be as much help as you had, hope, had hoped. I have to get back to the lab. I'm expecting another survivor of the clock tower. Murders. He is supposed to be a young boy about ten years old. Alright, let's go to the second floor. Well, this prologue is a bit boring. Not much action going on. What's up, Harris? Professor, the boy that survived the clock tower murders is here. Oh, has he arrived already? Yes, he's waiting in the therapy room. Okay. Run. There's... What? What the duck? Oh, he's always got something to do. He's always too busy. Oh, that's right. I still need to get an expert opinion on this statue. I should probably ask Professor Sullivan, the head librarian at the Metropolitan Library. Yes, but there is that old butler at the Barrows mansion named Rick. I'll show it to him for first to see if he knows anything. I'm pretty sure he lives in the suburbs. I could ask Harris to show it to him. Uh, yeah, I guess. <coughs> Alright, I'll ask Harris to show it to Rick. Harris, would you take this statue and show it to a man named Rick? Is that the statue that was at the scene of the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, no, it's lagging. 
murders yes it is would you ask him if he knows anything about it yes I'll go and ask him on my way home this evening oh my god I gotta end the video set now for the done with this conversation very good thank you okay that's that I should probably I should probably go to the therapy room now. Okay. All right. Well, I'm gonna end the video set now since it's starting to my my computer's starting to lag a lot. But um, when we come back, gotta go to the therapy room, talk to that kid, and see you then.